good day everybody how are you all i would request all of you to repeat the sentence i deserve the best that life has to offer i want you all to shake hands to your next person and say you have something special always feel you have something special your job throughout the lifetime is to find it and smartly lead your life and contribute to the society our seminar for today is on the topic called focus this seminar will be covered in five steps first with an introduction of ourselves then what is focus what are our assumptions on focusing and not focusing how to build a focus and what are its benefits let me introduce myself my name is pravin maleshgari and i am from hyderabad i have learned one big principle that we must not work for money we must make money work for us success can be achieved not only by luck but with proper preparation proper preparation prevents poor performance our organization is called lkkn which is based on success principles and we teach lessons which will help you to get success faster than expected we at lkkn work to develop systems that can be flawlessly executed and which delivers constantly successful outcomes we at lkkn will help you to work smarter on your goals rather than harder what is focus how many of you accept that focus means follow on one course until success if so think for a while are you a focused person if yes what is your present focus in life and are you achieving it if yes how and if no why let us list out why we are not able to focus this would be our answers we are not getting enough sleep we are surrounded ourselves with distractions we might be dealing with various problems our planning is not right we are reading or studying in a messy environment we are not able to work hard we have the interest but still we can't focus for a longer period of time these are the few points which come to our mind when we analyze why we are not focusing let us examine and what we said and do a post mortem let us first see our capacity on focusing can we watch an interesting movie can we watch a comedy show for 1 hour can we watch a 2020 match till the end how many times it happened you have opened a book and at the same time in your room tv is running you want to study but your mind is pulling to watch tv all these shows your focusing focusing strength is good and everyone can focus our main job is to differentiate on what works we must focus and for what that we need focus is the center of interest or activity if our interest is movie means we are focusing on a movie if our interest is watching cricket means our focus is in cricket first understand that we all have a good capacity of focus our job is to bring interest in what we must achieve rather than what is in hand in front of us the moment we see future in present then we can focus on our must task rather than should task There is a lot of difference in I should read and I must read. Should is used to indicate what is probable or probably. Must means you have to. And then automatically our focus will be in it whether it is our studies or our desired profession. We have designed six steps for building a focus. First, we must always create a great purpose in life. Once we have a purpose, we must get consumed by our dreams on that purpose. we must build an inner vision and see the future of our purpose in present to achieve that purpose we must master the fundamentals and observe the masters who already achieved that kind of purpose at last we will manage to ignore on what we should not focus come on let us see each point in detail the first step is create a great purpose in life When we have a great purpose in life then automatically our focus will increase as all our thoughts and energy will be focused on one purpose In history only we are we were taught that it is possible to build a laser focused mind In Mahabharata we can review a story of focus Dronacharya the master of Pandavas and Kauravas once called his students to test their focus strength He kept a bird toy on a tree and called all his students to test their focus. First he called Yudhishthira and asked to aim at bird's eye and asked him 
what you can see yudhishthira replied the bird then guru drona said wait a moment you need more practice next he called bhima and asked the same question aim at the bird's eye and asked what you can see bhima responded the bird and the tree trunk for him also guru drona said you need more practice go back next he called duryodhana and asked the same question aim at the bird eye what you can see duryodhana said he can see the bird the tree trunk and some clouds guru drona replied your aim is very bad you need a lot of practice at last he called arjuna and asked the same question aim at the bird's eye and asked what you can see arjuna replied i of a bird and only i of a bird when arjuna shot the arrow it hit the eye of a bird and the toy fell down this is what we call focus even today the same principle is applied there are always two sides of a story the head and the tail side as the coin in your pocket the head side is to do something about the attitude and the sail tail side of the story is something to do about the techniques techniques keep on changing with research and advancement but we never change the attitude side to remain focused throughout your life is controlled by our head side our attitude side when you are inspired by great purpose some extraordinary projects all your thoughts break their bonds your mind transcends and you will start getting a laser focus in yourself we always must have a bigger purpose in life why bigger if your purpose is small your focusing strength will be small focus is the center of interest let us understand more by a life story anybody knew about this boy his name is babar ali the youngest schoolmaster of india at the age of 9 this boy babar ali while going to school saw some kids on the street who were not going to school he asked his mother why those kids don't go to school his mother replied i can afford but their parents can't afford the fee of school babar ali then decided i have to do something about them at the age of 9 he started an outdoor school his mission is education of all and it became purpose of his life this boy is now finishing his pg and is ranked as world's school master let's see a short video on him बेरामपुर के कृष्णानाथ कॉलेज में पढ़ता है बाबर अली हर रोज कॉलेज खत्म होते ही बाबर अली को अपने घर पहुंचने की जल्दी रहती है क्योंकि गंगापुर और आसपास के गांव के बच्चे बेसब्री से उसके लौटने की राह देख रहे होते हैं बाबर के लौटने पर ही उनका स्कूल शुरू होता है 19 साल का बाबर ही उनके स्कूल का हेडमास्टर है बाबर गांव के उन गिने चुने बच्चों में से था जिन्हें स्कूल जाने का मौका मिला पर अपने साथियों का स्कूल न जाना 9 साल के नन्हे बाबर को मंजूर नहीं था इसलिए स्कूल में जो सीखता था घर आकर अपने साथियों के साथ बांट लेता था शुरुआत एक पेड़ के नीचे पांच दोस्तों के साथ हुई जब मैं स्कूल से वापस घर आता था तब उन सब बच्चों को इकट्ठा करता था जो स्कूल नहीं जाते थे पहले मैंने खेल खेल में ही उन्हें पढ़ाना शुरू किया मैं टीचर बनता वो स्टूडेंट तब मैं पांचवी क्लास में पढ़ता था सिर्फ नौ साल का था एक छोटे ऐसी बच्चे की लगन दे लोग साथ जुड़ते गए कारवा बनता गया बाबर के घर के आंगन में ही एक स्कूल खेलो था आज आनंद शिक्षा निकेतन में सैकड़ों ऐसे बच्चे पढ़ते हैं जिन्हें शायद शिक्षा का मौका कभी न मिल पाता एक बच्चे द्वारा जलाया गया ज्ञान का दीपक कई नन्नी जिंदगियों को रोशन कर रहा है दुनिया का सबसे छोटी उम्र का हेडमास्टर संविधान में लिखे गए बराबरी के आदर्श का सबक सिखा रहा है
बाबर आपने नौ साल की उम्र में स्कूल शुरू किया हेडमास्टर बन गए इस उम्र में तो बच्चों का ध्यान खेल कूद में रहता है वो सब छोड़ के आपने ऊपर इतनी बड़ी जिम्मेदारी क्यों ले ली मैंने ऐसा इसलिए किया क्योंकि मुझे लगा कि हर इंसान को अपने समाज की भलाई के लिए अपनी क्षमता के अनुसार जितना हो सके उतना तो करना ही चाहिए दोस्तों बाबर अली ने बिना किसी पैसे के सिर्फ अपने मन की भावना के बल पर अपने साथियों को अपने समान अपने बराबर ला खड़ा करने का जज्बा दिखाया अनजाने में ही अपने देश के संविधान के आदर्शों का पालन किया दिस वीडियो प्रूव दैट व्हेन वी हैव ग्रेट पर्पस फॉर लाइफ नो डिस्ट्रैक्शन विल स्टॉप अस डिस्पाइट पोअर दिस बॉय इज सर्विंग थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट्स एवरी ईयर वी मस्ट गेट कंज्यूम बाई आर ड्रीम्स and then all distractions around us cannot stop us from focusing babar ali was consumed by his dreams of teaching kids and give them basic education the moment you are watching your future then all your excuses will get solutions they will never be problems as they will turn into challenges and you will find solutions for them focus must be treated with mixture of both respect and fear respect for what can be accomplished through implementation of focus fear for the shocking results that takes place without it focus as a magnetic properties as the moment you focus on the results it immediately becomes a magnet pulling you and attracting resources towards it the next step is build a inner vision you must always have the ability to think about or plan the future with imagination or wisdom that is you must have an inner vision The fourth and important step in building focus is mastering the fundamentals. Success in all its form consists of simple fundamentals. Excellence is only achieved by mastering fundamentals. The fundamentals are the foundation building blocks upon which all success stands. From accounting to astrology, education to engineering, computer programming to construction, rock climbing to rocket science, and from raising kids to raising capital. all consist of fundamental principles and each fundamental counts fundamentals comes first you must learn them before you learn anything else as strong fundamentals are built on strong foundations you must crawl before you walk fundamentals are simple anything and everything is based on simple truths these fundamentals must be masters the objective is and always will be become brilliant on basics fundamentals requires practice the quality of your performance will never exceed the quality of your practice fundamentals never change fundamentals are just as important as food water and oxygen as to your body in whatever field we want to excel and focus we will always have masters there is a great saying don't reinvent wheel again If you want to focus and excel in any field of interest we have someone already excel in that field and we can observe and lot to improve ourselves to name a few these are successful people around the globe Mr Satya Nadella CEO of Microsoft AR Rahman musician Chand Chanda Kochar the CEO and MD of ICICI Bank Mary Com is a boxing champion of India Sundar Pichai CEO of Google MS Dhoni Indian cricketer Rohit Bansal the Snapdeal co-founder Narendra Modi Prime Minister of India rated as energetic politician We have to select a master of our field when we observe them carefully we will understand how they focus on their purpose and it will show us the path how we can follow them and focus on our goals When you have a great purpose in life always dreaming about the purpose with a inner vision following the fundamentals taking an example of a master then we will automatically learn to ignore all distractions and focus on our work and studies as the purpose is great you will develop an inner strength to ignore other aspects which might be distracting you let us just recap on steps for building a laser beam focus Firstly we must always create a great purpose in life 
once we have a purpose we must get consumed by our dreams on that purpose we must build an inner vision and see the future of our purpose in present to achieve that purpose we must master the fundamentals and observe the masters who already achieved that kind of purpose at last we will manage to ignore on what we should not focus i would like to conclude by saying that focus is free and it is a choice a commitment to lifelong practice let me show you one more short video of mr pratap reddy who created a purpose in life by building hospitals of international standards after seeing that his patients were losing life as at that time specific operations were only done in united state his purpose turned to a great vision and today we have hospitals with international standards he transformed healthcare by generating widespread awareness of a simple sensible method that prevention is better than cure with international standards It's very satisfying. Apollo is a healthcare brand. You know how we developed this brand? It's because we developed the art of giving care, art of loving what we are doing. I think this has made the difference. It has made the difference because throughout whatever we have done, we have done that the person who has come to with trust to Apollo is like our own kith and kin. So the care that we are given is is different from what you would get anywhere else. Of course Apollo is not known on, not only for its care huh? we have got the brilliance clinical excellence you know everything the technology that Apollo has is the best technology that any best hospital in the world has the outcomes the results that we have is the same or better than the best you know why I did this I did this because when I came back from US I used to send my patients to England or US because there was no such facilities available for our people in India In 1979 I lost an young man because he couldn't raise $40,000 and go to US. And when I saw his 31 year old wife and 4 year old son and 2 year old daughter I said how many more are going to face this family crisis. And today no Indian need to go abroad. We do everything that's happening anywhere in the world from simple surgeries to major heart transplants, liver transplants and more importantly than that that the love the care compassion the the art of giving care is what made us uniquely different We have seen life stories of two great persons and understood how their principles on great purpose help them to achieve great success. With a laser beam focus, you will feel more in control. You will have more positive attitude. You will be better at problem solving. You will have more clarity on what you do. You will improve decision making. You will develop a better understanding of yourself. Thank you for listening to my video. Keep smiling. Focus on your goals and one day world will focus on your life teachings. Use your smile to change the world, but don't let this world change your smile. Thank you. Have a great day.